Hey guys, this is Mr. Herbst here, and today's focus is going to be on karyotypes, sex link traits, and pedigrees. Now, our journey begins here with a karyotype. What is a karyotype? Well, it's sort of like a picture or a chart of all the chromosomes that you have in your body. And, for example, you have uh, sex chromosomes. Those are chromosome pair number 23. Those are these guys right down here. Now, if you take a look, uh, see this one here is a little bit different than that one. It kind of looks weird. Um, that is what we call the Y chromosome. So anybody that has a Y chromosome is going to be a male. And um, males have X, big X, and Y. If, per se, somebody had this chromosomes instead of those, that w where we had two Xs, that person would be female. Now, all the chromosomes that don't have anything to do with sex or determining the sex of the child are called autosomes. So chromosome number 1 through 22 are all chromosomes that don't have anything to do with determining sex. So on to sex-linked traits. What are those? Well, those are traits that are found on the X chromosome. Those are the ones that are found uh, right here on the sex chromosomes. Now, you may be wondering, uh, why don't we find any sex-linked traits of the Y chromosome? Well, we do, but they're really not very common. And if you think about why, take a look. Uh, take a look at how small the Y chromosome actually is. There's really not too much DNA on it. And any of that DNA is not fairly, not very much used within your body. So all the traits that don't that are not linked to sex are what's called autosomal traits. So chromosome 1 through 22 are all autosomal traits. The only time we find sex linked traits is if they're found on the X chromosome. A good example of that is colorblindness. Uh, you may know somebody that's colorblind. You may be colorblind yourself. That is a sex linked that we find that on chromosome number 23, more specifically the X chromosome, and it is recessive. So what kind of alleles go along with that? Well, what we like to do in science is we like to take the big X to represent that it is on the X chromosome. And then if a person has this little subscript C, that corresponds to being colorblind. And then if the person has a big subscript C, that corresponds to having normal vision. Now, it is possible that a person can be what's called a carrier, where they actually have uh, one big C and one little C. Now, if you actually take a look, uh, that person has two big X's, and so you actually notice that has to be a female. There is no such thing as a male carrier for colorblindness. Males either have it or they don't. And if you'd like to find out more information on uh, how colorblindness and sex link traits work, uh, please follow the link right here or in the description below if you have a smartphone. Uh, you can find the link directly to the video, find out more information on colorblindness. On to pedigrees. Pedigrees are uh, a way that we use a graph to kind of represent uh, genetic disorders that are passed down within families. They, they look like this, where we have, um, we start here at the top. These are grandparents, for example. Uh, squares represent males and circles represent females. And then all of these that butt off of those original grandparents would be your parents. And then everything that buds off of these would be all of all of you. So again, we use uh, squares to represent males. And more specifically, we use dark squares to represent males that are affected by that certain genetic disorder, whatever it may be. And we use, cert we use circles to represent females. And uh, more specifically, darkened circles represent females that are affected by that genetic disorder, uh, whatever it may be. If you find this, where we have a linkage between a circle and a square, that means that that couple got married and had kids. And then if you find a uh, link coming off, that means those are the kids. Anyway, guys, that concludes karyotypes, sex link traits, and pedigrees. This is Mr. Herbst. I'm signing off, folks. You have a nice day.